ஜாவாஸ்கிரிப்டிங் and uh, applications where we can use javascript uh, like client side validation dynamic drop down menus so uh, so much usage uh, by using this javascript and uh, javascript examples how we can write uh, uh, javascript means we can uh, write in three ways body in the body tag or in the head tag or we can write external uh, javascript by using a script tag okay yes sir see next uh, uh, these are some examples we have discussed already and the next uh, comment javascript comments so we have two types of comments here single line comment or multi line comment and uh, javascript variables we have discussed javascript variables how many types of variables we have what is a variable these things are discussed in java what is variable variable is a named memory location or name of the storage location we can say simply and how many types we have two types of variables we have in java local variable and global variable local variable means what declared within the function and used within the function yes if you declare if you use the variable inside the function the type of variable is called as local variable okay within the function means uh, that is local variable if you declare that variable outside of the function outside of the all functions outside of the all function means so that we can call global variable in another way in javascript we have another way that is uh, window object if you use window object in front of that variable then within the if you write that variable inside the function also it is called as global variable what is global variable how can you write a global variable in javascript in two ways you can declare variable outside of the function or if you are uh, if you are using that variable inside the function we are declaring the variable inside the function and if you use object window object object call window object here if you use window object then that variable you can access in another functions also so that is called global variable are you getting here within the function i declared a variable so that is 100 i have given that means it is a local variable actually but what is the difference what is the point here so you are using window object you are using window object if you use window object in front of variable within a method also it is not local variable it is a global variable so uh, that is a uh, main two types of global variables we can see within the javascript okay we can access this variable value inside the uh, wherever it is wherever the function it is okay next those are the uh, variable on type next next thing is what javascript data types data types so represents what what type of data it is what type of data it is by what type of data it is int type float type double type that is uh, in java now here what type of data types we have in javascript means five data types uh, primitive non primitive from primitive side we have five data types we can see here okay uh, javascript data types primitive data types and non primitive data types from primitive data types we have five data types here from primitive data 
primitive uh, side how many data types we have five data types what are those data types string data type number data type boolean data type undefined data type null data type. okay from non primitive object data type are under regular expression okay so the non primitive data are reference data types we can say okay sir how can i see uh, which value is string type number type i will show you example now then we will go for control statements okay condition statement looping statements and all okay this all of you what are the primitive data types we have string number boolean and define null this all of you are you getting now tell me how can i write that examples can do same thing by using notepad also i'm using eclipse ide here so examples for what data types example for data types how you can see that example here how can i write uh, javascript code inside the html within the body tag tell me the tag what tag i can use is all of you all of you tell me script to type text to text javascript open and close the script and now i'm going to show you the example so i'm taking variable uh a equal to 20 okay see ma here i can take variables like by using this symbol var var or let i can use and constant i can use c o n s t see i can let i can take by declaring the variables you are using in to flow to double like that right here you can use var let and constant okay directly it is taking implicit constant okay next is constant constant of i can use okay in this way i can write variables i can declare the variables see by using var or by using let and by using constant so uh, in this three ways i declare i can declare the variables in javascript okay this all of your reading can i use only in var or let sir uh, the screen froze sir uh... i think internet is slow at you sir from my side okay. yes and now we can see uh, the script now you are getting so i have taken i created one html file here inside of that i am going to create one javascript uh, 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 use javascript tag here within that i am going to write some javascript code so we are discussing variables here data types so uh, which type of data you can find here so uh, or we can represent let or we can use constants that means Or uh, uh, for variables, we can use these types. Okay, okay. Implicitly, it it can use uh, uh, whatever type it is, integer type, float type, whatever it is. That is number type only here. Here we have only five types of data type: string, number, boolean, undefined, and null. Okay, so we can represent by using var, let, and constant. C O N S means constant here. C O N S T constant constant. Okay. Uh, see here. Uh, that means. See now we can uh, say the differences. 
between this var left and constant so var means uh, variable uh, the declaration or globally scoped global scope or function scope declare the scope of this variable so a is a variable right for this variable the scope is our function scope but coming to let uh, this is block scope and constants also same block scope now you can uh, ask the question what is then what is the difference between let and constant he See, coming to variable, it is uh, we can update that value and we can redeclare this variable. We can uh, update or we can redeclare if you if you are using var. If you are using let, we can update but not redeclare. We can update but we cannot we cannot redeclare constant. We cannot update or we cannot redeclare. So. Uh, that's why uh, we can use let or if you are using uh, objects there we can use constant okay so uh, this type of variables we have here then uh, we can declare the variables in this way we use constant variable or let so variable where uh, a equal to 20 i have taken see now i want to see uh, a is what type of variable what type of variable what type of variable how can you see so i want to print that one so that we can see on the browser document dot write of uh, i of a variable variable type of variable mm. is we can the a power of function will be there within that we can use this Now I am going to run this program. Right click run as. Or this is just a HTML or a JavaScript program, right? So now I can open with. I no need to use Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. I just open with the browser, web browser. Okay. So it is open in Internet Explorer. Here it is. Document dot write of value equal to twenty. Type of a. This tricky. here the type of variable is number the type of variable is what number okay are you getting yes i love you yes sir Yeah. 
the dot get the element by id id is what document dot get element by id whatever data i am going to print here that yes i can right click open with web browser so that is number type okay so ara graph in the paragraph i understand in this mini base you can write are you understanding what i displayed there where a equal to 20 20 is which type you no know, data type type printed data type number string mm -hmm. undefined null is all of you a equal to 20 what type it is Number Inter type or string? Undefined type, ma? Huh? What type? Integer, sir. So we should not say here. Actually, in Java we can say into float and all. Okay. In Java script okay. we have only five types of data types here: string, number, next, boolean, undefined, null. Five only. Within the five. we have to say uh, either either it is a uh, uh, number or string or null or boolean okay now we can see what type it is so i use the type of function here type of a which type it is number type so that that's what we got output right this is number type okay type of a is what number type so if you don't know about this document that get element by id and all uh, you uh, you no need to use it i will discuss in the later session okay you know document dot write right for printing you can use this one so type of variable is what number type is all of you are getting can i use let here i can use let also let a equal to 20 then refresh here type of variable is number so can i use constant constant a is constant it that means or we can also read it later 
Okay, in this way, we can put the variables. Okay. Like A equal to 20. What type it is? Number type. Okay. Next, uh, let uh, okay, I have used variable here. Where? Next, let, let where whatever it is. What is the difference between let where and constant means? You can say, see, a uh, variable is globally sloped or function sloped, but uh, let is uh, block scoped. Let and the uh, constants are block scoped. And uh, uh, another difference is, uh, but if you are using where means, uh, we can update it and we can redeclare that value. But uh, if you are using let, we can update, but we cannot redeclare. If you are using constant, then we cannot update or we cannot redeclare that variable. Okay, that's what the main differences between where, let, and the constant. Okay, uh, let uh, b equal to. Uh, I'm giving string uh, from the name I have given. Now tell me uh, what is the type of uh, this variable? All of you. Now tell me what is the type of this B variable? B8. F7. Sir, the screen is not changing, sir, again. No, sir. no, sir. It's showing the web uh, web view of that program in the browser. Now. No, sir, blank. Sorry, are you getting my screen? Blank. Yes, all of you, uh, all you are getting a uh, uh, blank screen now. F7, E0, E3. Are you getting my screen? No, sir, we are able to see the black thing. Now also? Yes, sir, totally black screen.
Now see ya. Prakash. Prakash. C4. C4. Sir, it is showing that you are sharing something, but it's not displaying. It's black. It's not displaying screen. screen. Mm, yes, sir. We are, we are getting black screen. Here is it clear now? Are you editing my screen? E4, E8, same so black screen only. Now also same. Yes, sir. We are getting blank screen now also. Yes, sir. We are able to see only black.
Yeah, you can share your screen. I will tell. I, I will tell that the program. You can type there, so that everyone can see. Okay, sir. Here to open Notepad or some uh, editor, what you are using? Now I am getting your screen. Okay, remove the functions and all. You can use it. Or create new tab. Okay. Type HTML code.
ओके वैर ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टाइप देर वैर ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो हाउ कैन आई नो इट इज नंबर टाइप और स्ट्रिंग टाइप हाउ कैन आई नो so type of type of um, uh, function there we can use uh, so now i want to print that the type of variable which type we are using so uh, how to print in java script what type of code you can write document dot write of write there document dot write of ah uh, within that you can write type of a so that we can see what type of variable we are writing we are using type of function uh, within that you can write a uh, semicolon so now you can run this program so that we can see a is what type so here in javascript there is no integer type float type double type and all man so uh, whatever it is so in type uh, float type whatever it is uh, type of number those are number type only run the program run that program yes sir i done but speaking something screen is not visible is it coming or not is it coming yes sir it's taking some time and the minute these things we can see in the browser also uh Open some browser, Chrome browser. We we'll show you in the browser also. Okay. Open the browser. Oh. It is also taking time. This number type. Okay, eight. Uh, in the right side, you have three dots, right? Go there. Click on that. What option is showing? Uh, go to more tools, more tools, more tools. 
डेवलपर टूल लास्ट वन क्लिक ऑन लास्ट वन This happening. This one on the uh, right side. We have console option, right? Not that one. If you go to. Uh, it is coming. It is coming. Wait. I think it is coming. There's console option there. Click on that, and there you can write a. Uh, that a of r a equal to string click on that what is going okay. it will show elite option is you can write the code the output directly it will print here itself You can type there. Below you have space, right? Greater than symbol there. There you can write where a equal to within the double quotation. You can write Shiva something string. Hmm. You say me. I uh, uh, press enter. Press enter. so uh, now you can write type of a type of a type of last one type of a you can ah uh, press enter now you can see uh, what type of variable it is it is string type okay uh, now you can take another example number type you have seen already and boolean means Uh, uh, a equal to true. Where a equal to true? Not within the double quotation. Directly you can write where a equal to true. What type it is? Type of a is. Ah, uh, what type it is? Boolean type, right? And ah, uh, uh, number type, string type, boolean type. Next, uh, undefined. Undefined means ah, uh, where a? Declare just where a. Where a, ah, uh, next that is uh, type of a is what, ah, uh, boolean. Where a now you can ah uh, use other variable ma, where b or where c. Now you can see that is undefined. Where b then type of b is type of b, ah, uh, type of b enter undefined. so we can see this type we can know what type of variables we are using here so there is no into type bool uh, uh, into type double type and float type byte type and all uh, in javascript we have five types of primitive data types those are string number boolean undefined and null okay Have you understand? Have you understood the program? So in console also we can see you know Java we are we can see uh, in the console right? So in JavaScript we can see in the browser console options. Okay, if you want to see object type, okay, uh, if you declare uh, null is object type man null array. Those are all our object type. are whatever we will see those things in while we were discuss while we are discussing uh, uh objects okay Any doubts till here? 
sir for uh, finding the type of array first thing to declare the array sir array also uh, if you declare an array it will show it is object type array also object type okay so where d equal to see here declaration is different it is not java right where d equal to uh, within the bracket uh, within that you can write uh, that that you can declare okay okay uh, we will discuss in the next session those things okay so and uh, uh, conditional statements looping statements and functions we will discuss in the next session okay just by using this we can know what type of variables we are using that's it okay any doubts c4 c1 c2 c5 c6 no sir no doubt okay just you can know here in this session you can know what are the data types we have primitive non primitive in the primitive we have string type data types number type data types uh, next boolean undefined and null okay that's all about uh, today's session we will meet in the next session thanks for this listening to this session okay uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me now it's all i have given some assignment right have you remember have you written assignment regarding to uh, properties sorry uh, what we call operators info is complete the uh, operator assignment arithmetic operator logical operator bitwise operator you already uh, know about uh, those operators in java right same thing you can implement in javascript also okay that's all about today's session you can leave the session now thank you